Samsung has made their public camera phones and slider phones are awesome for a number of reasons that allow for higher screen to body ratios as there is no need for a notch or a thick vessel to house the selfie camera we also have a futuristic pipe and give users concern with privacy peace of mind as a front facing camera isn't staring at them the whole time a lot of Chinese market makers jumped on the public trend and launched multiple devices but the high for that quickly died down when Samsung started selling all in pounds with punch holding Chinese OEM speaking of Samsung they never really tried the public camera mechanism on their phones except for the CAD which had irritating motor eye setup enabling you to point his three lenses spray for you fancy but in a time when public cameras are relatively a thing of the past with almost all the Chinese companies moving towards the punctual tech Samsung wants to bring back the public camera smartphones is only shared renders of a new Samsung smartphone that has a pop-up camera to take selfies as you can see it looks like this is gonna be a budget or mid-range device as indicated by the fingerprint scanner at the back and somewhat a big chin at the bottom smartphone industry moved away from the moving mechanical parts because it consumes a lot of space once it got the battery and there isn't room for much else as you can see in this one plus seven pro tier down from I fix it a chunk of space inside the device is taken up by the public camera and moving mechanical parts is not rocket science to assume that the manufacturer wanted to as companies move to 4000 milliamperes plus batteries and new devices cutting the pop-up surface room that in turn allows them to cram in a bigger battery which gives people more screen on time so it's kind of surprising that Samsung is launching this device now and every other company has all but given up on this idea a lot of people are complaining about those that they don't need this in 2020 and honestly I don't understand why I mean this is a budget or a mid-range device is not a flagship phone so there's no issue about the water assistance and to be honest it's awesome that we are getting a full screen Samsung phone in this price range mean for now the public camera offers the best solution for a true high screen to body ratio no knowledge no hold no big pencil no missing information or workarounds just a full screen all display and if you just never bother taking selfies department of state part and didn't get in the way 100% of the time like a punch wall or not star there's also a lot of people question the durability of these moving parts it's been a couple of years since the inception of these parts and we haven't actually seen any complaints whatsoever so these are durable and I'm happy that Samsung is planning to return to this hyper design now there's no information when we could see this get unveiled well surely keep you posted once the information becomes available people got upset with the color options of the galaxy. S20 Ultra means is only available in gray and black a few weeks ago he heard that there will be a new white color option in the works and today we have a live hands on him is to showcase the same color sensing is launching this in China right now so we can expect it to arrive in other countries in the days to come forth without being said thanks for watching and see you on my next video.